the Y using an IED. Um, there are some IEDs that turn on automatically, some you have to physically turn on. In. On the pads, it'll show you where to place them. These are adult, infant, and child pads all in one. So with adults and children, these, uh, you see this one goes at the top right, just under the uh, collar, collarbone. And this one goes on the bottom left, just below the rib cage. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. All clear. Shock advised. Charging. Everyone stand clear. All clear. Everyone stand clear. Push the shock button. Shock delivered. Shock. Begin five cycles of CPR. And uh, resume compressions. And normally when the rescue team comes, they would usually take over compressions. And that beat that you hear right there, that's also the rhythm in which you do your compressions. Either that or you can think about the stand a lot of Okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five. One minute and 30 seconds of CPR nine, 30. Ready. The other person's going to be given two breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one minute of CPR remains. Eight, nine, ten, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Two breaths. And every two to five um, cycles of compressions, you want to alternate with the other person. When it's two people, one is given compressions and the other person is given breaths. Even before the AED arrives, you want to alternate the compressions and breaths. So that you all know this is kind of a workout. You're going to get exhausted. 30 and tired, seconds so of CPR. Alternate remain. every two to five cycles of compression. One, two, cycles of CPR. And then you uh, resume compression. Sometimes it'll say that and then sometimes it'll say shock advised, all clear, stuff like that. Okay, there are a few considerations with the AED. Um, one, it is safe to use on a pregnant lady. Um, another one, um, if a victim has been submerged in water, you do want to get them out of the water and dry off the chest area. Um, because we know water and electricity don't mix and it can interfere with delivering a shock. Also, people with chest hairs, you can place the pads, but sometimes the pads may stick and sometimes they may not. Um, the AED will prompt you to press pads firmly, but um, after you've done that a few times and it still doesn't work, just snatch the pad off and it'll remove the hair and you can replace the pads. Also, if they have any metal on, like a jewelry, a necklace, um, if a female has on an underwire bra, you do want to remove that um, because the metal, that metal can interfere with delivering a shock. Also, if they have any surgical incisions or pacemakers, you don't want to place the pad directly over the pacemaker or the incision. And depending on how big the incision is, um, 
you can maybe place the pad to the side or maybe up under, but not directly over it. And uh, it's something up. Um, if they have any medication patches, um, you do want to remove that as well, because that can kind of interfere with delivering the shock as well. Any questions? Okay, we got two, four, six, eight. Okay, um, let's each of you get with a partner. Um, one person gets started with the compressions and breath, starting with scene safety, and the other person can bring the um, AED.